you, you know very well the UAV game, you know very well a lot of different platforms. You may imagine that putting 4G on a drone is not easy, especially when you need to go through a carrier um, process where the drone will ping the, 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 the network, the network needs to ping back the drone, etc. So there is a lot of back and forth encryption, authentication going on when doing the 4G, um, the 4G connection. The way we've done that is that we've uh, integrated in this drone uh, hardware element from a company called Wise, Wise Key, which is a company in Switzerland. And this hardware acts as a safe. So basically all the authentication encryption keys are going to be stored in this Wise Key element. Um, that's one thing. Because we have this Wise Key element able to authentify, encrypt, etc. We also do something with the encryption of the pictures. Each time you take a picture with NFE AI, this image is digitally signed. So it means that we know that this picture has been taken by this drone at this time, at this place, and we actually vet that. Mm. Uh, so it means that there is no way to corrupt an image. For example, saying, oh, this drone has, I mean, this image has been taken at this place at this time, but you change the metadata and you, you make it feel like it's been taken the, the following day, yeah. which is very important sometimes in some scenarios where you need evidences or this type of things. The images are digitally, di digitally signed and all the information is locked. Um, last but not least, uh, in terms of certification, Wisekey has been working to certify this product for FIPS, which is a certification in uh, the US for computer security. Again, about all the, 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 um, the security of the data of the users, etc. A lot of information is available on the white paper that we have online. Right. We've done a lot on cybersecurity, so it's just to highlight a few things, but yeah, this is what we have. And I think that those white papers are something that I have not seen a drone manufacturer that isn't a very small volume take the time to do. So if you are interested in deep diving into some of these things, look at the Parrot website. Uh, not only is there a huge amount of FAQs, but also those white papers. I learned a ton yeah. uh, in a very short amount of time. They're really easy to read, not ultra technical, but, but dig much deeper than we're going today.